My name is Tom Sieben. My name is Tom Sieben. I work as a service engineer at Lennox, a global provider of air conditioning solutions, primarily for refrigeration, heating, and air conditioning systems. My tasks within the company are mainly the maintenance and repair of refrigeration systems. Customers we often work for are McDonald's, KFC, and Zigo. I mainly work with Testo 557S at the moment. The great thing about this instrument is that everything is visible on the screen. Besides, you can connect it to the corresponding app on your phone and keep an eye on everything, pressures, temperatures. And it's really a versatile instrument, which means that you need a lot less stuff. At the moment, I'm working here on the roof of a McDonald's. First I'll show you how to set up the system, that's very simple. Here you have a temperature probe for example. You can tell by the green light that there's a connection with your Testo 557S. Orange on the other hand means that there's no connection yet. At the moment I'm linking all components of the Testo instrument so that I can see everything on my mobile phone. So at the moment I can check the pressure and temperature of the lines. Before using Testo 557S, I had all kinds of instruments. My measuring instrument set, my temperature probe, measuring cables, as well as pen and paper. As you see, there are several things you'd need to take along. Now the great thing about the Testo is that everything you need is included in the case. With my old measuring instrument, I had to read the values myself which is now done digitally. So your mobile phone displays the type of refrigerant, pressure values. Below that, superheating is indicated as well as subcooling. What I can see right here is that everything's running well. Before I had to calculate everything first. When I press start in the app, the instrument also starts a recording which you can then save, or you can enter customer data. After this, you can print out a report, which is also very convenient, so you hardly need a laptop anymore. Once we've put pressure on the system, and that has worked well, we'll start to build up a vacuum. Then, in the measuring program, I can go to the menu and place the arrow on vacuum. The measuring instrument is recognized, and OK. After this, you connect the instrument, switch on the vacuum pump, and the measurement will start. If you go via the manifold, you can use the menu to choose the type of refrigerant to be used. Within the menu, you can simply scroll down. Here we're dealing with RV10A, which we click on and then see that the instrument is also measuring subcooling and superheating. My experience so far is positive. I haven't experienced any trouble yet. Maybe it would be a good idea to make the instrument rechargeable. I'm currently using batteries. My suggestion is lithium batteries that can simply be recharged. But what I'd like to tell other technicians is that this instrument really saves a lot of time and you don't have to take that much stuff along. You've got less to do yourself because the Testo 557S does everything for you.